guys, this is Joe from JoeColinTurner.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fire event for a web element using QTP. Uh, the issue is, in one of my applications recently, I was trying to interact with a search button. And the issue was when I used the click method, it, it didn't work. Uh, basically what should happen is when you click on this search button, this web table should populate with records. So if we click on search, the web table should populate with uh, different rows of information. So let's just go ahead and run the line of code that, do that does a click on the search web element and see what happens. So as you can see in QTP, it, it did a click on the uh, search element, but this web table did not populate. So the first thing I do when trying to debug issues like this is just make sure that the object is actually recognize an object repository. Just make sure it's not a object recognition issue first before I start trying to write any, any extra code. So if we navigate to the object in the object repository and we click on highlight in the application, we can see that it does recognize the object. So the next thing I usually do is um, try using the get return property and return uh, a valid property of the web element object just to make sure that you know at least some methods are working on the object. And so I'm just going to capture the outer text and just make sure, just for a sanity check, that you know QTP is recognizing the object and it is able to interact with it. And so we can see that it does return the expected outer text. So this lets me know that it's most likely uh, a method issue. You know, the method I used uh, isn't the right method for that particular object to try using some other methods. So the next thing I usually do is I just take a look at the help for the particular object that I'm interacting with. So if we go to the help for the web element. So in the web element object uh, help, we notice all the methods available that you can use with the web element. And I notice one of them is fire event. So if we click on fire event, it says it triggers an event. So basically what happens is this method fires an event and the event should populate this web table. So if we take a look at the help for the fire event, we notice there's certain event names that you can do to trigger on, a, on an object. And one of them is on click and one of them is on double click. So we're gonna try the on click first, see if that helps us. And if we see, unfortunately, the fire event on click didn't work. But you know, always be persistent with QTP, never give up. At least try a, a few uh, different properties of a, of a method. So let's also try the fire event on double click and see if that helps. Awesome. So if we take a look at the application again, we can notice that the web table did populate this time. So it looks like for this particular object in my application, uh, for certain web elements that look like buttons, that I'm going to need to use the fire event. And that's awesome because it does work. And hopefully that helps.